Emergency crews in Niagara County, they spent most of the day today dealing with a hazardous materials incident, which even prompted an evacuation of some nearby homes. It happened on the Tuscarora Indian Reservation at a propane distribution company. Channel 2's Dave McKinley reports from the scene. From what I understand, they do morning inspections. When they go out to the tanks, they check their, all their other tanks, make sure everything's safe. And that's when employees at JP2 Propane on Walmore Road arriving for work around 8 o'clock this morning discovered this 18,000-gallon tank, which had just been filled the night before, was leaking. This was a valve on the bottom of the tank. The fire departments from several nearby towns arrived, along with a hazmat crew, which also set up a portable weather station to monitor wind speed and direction. The wind's actually been very helpful. It's actually uh, mitigating, it's actually spreading out the propane as it comes out and really don't have heavy concentrations in the direct area. And Nonetheless, it was decided to evacuate residents within a half mile radius. We had the firefighters go to door and we also had the local law enforcement work with us on that and the Tuscarora Nation was a great help doing that. For several hours, a stream of propane trucks from other companies arrived to help drain the tank into their vehicles. They got pretty much, we're down to about 1% that were burning off. So they, they were able to save all that, uh, store it, and really not have much leak into the ground or in the atmosphere at all. The burning, he referenced, was done with a device which a state fire response team brought from the Rochester area, which allowed for a controlled vapor burn of the remaining contents. No one was injured. Also among those evacuated today, students here at the Tuscarora Indian School. Although they were outside that half mile radius in an abundance of precaution, they were taken over to nearby Niagara Wheatfield High School to continue their day's learning. In Niagara County, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.